Russian civil aviation is nearing an important turning point in its modern history. After decades of reliance on foreign-built aircraft, engines, and onboard systems, the industry is preparing for a pivotal transition toward entirely domestically manufactured airliners. The year 2026 is expected to mark the beginning of this transformation as several major aircraft programs achieve certification, enter serial production, or begin initial deliveries. These include the updated 2214, the regional turboprop EL114-300, the Sukhoi Superjet 100 fitted with PD-8 engines, and the ongoing MC-21 program. In addition to these initiatives, Russia is also refurbishing and extending the service life of existing aircraft to maintain operational readiness throughout the transition period. Taken together, these developments indicate not only a technological shift, but also a strategic realignment within the nation's aviation industry. The focus is on ensuring reliability, strengthening self-sufficiency, improving regional connectivity, and replacing aircraft that are currently between 40 and 50 years old. For Russian airlines and manufacturers, the year 2026 represents the moment when long-term strategic planning begins to produce tangible results. The Tu-214 occupies a central role in Russia's strategy for medium-range aviation. Although its airframe traces its origins to the Tu-204 family, the current version is a deeply modernized aircraft rather than a continuation of an older design. The updated Tu-214 incorporates the replacement of 17 critical onboard systems, including advanced weather radar, collision avoidance equipment, and a modernized avionics architecture designed to meet current operational standards. This modernization effort is intended to ensure that the Tu-214 can operate safely and efficiently in contemporary airspace while remaining fully independent of foreign suppliers. The aircraft is positioned as a practical and reliable solution for domestic airlines that require medium haul capacity without reliance on Western manufactured jets. Production plans call for the construction of eight 2214 aircraft in the year 2026. This represents a significant increase compared to previous years when output was limited to individual units. The shift to serial production supports a broader objective of restoring sustained manufacturing capability at Russian aviation plants and ensuring a predictable fleet renewal pathway for airlines. The Tu-214 is expected to play a stabilizing role during the transitional period before next-generation aircraft reach full production capacity. By combining modern systems with a proven airframe, it serves as an intermediate platform between legacy designs and more advanced aircraft, such as the MC-21. Few aircraft programs are as strategically important for Russia's internal connectivity as the IL-1, 14-300. Designed as a modern regional turboprop, the aircraft is intended to replace aging models such as the Yak-40 and the An-24, many of which have remained in service for more than four decades. Manufacturing is currently underway at the Lukovitsi Aviation Plant, where preparations for serial production are already advancing. The IL-1 14-300 has reached a major milestone, having accumulated approximately 1,000 flight hours, with overall readiness reported at 99%. Certification is expected in the first quarter of the year, 2026, meaning the first three months of that year, with initial deliveries planned for later in the same year. The delivery of the first three aircraft in 2026 marks the return of a domestically produced turboprop to regular airline operations. This is particularly important for routes in the Far East, Northern Territories, and remote regions, where limited infrastructure makes turboprop aircraft more suitable than jet-powered alternatives. Beyond its operational role, the IL-114-300 reflects a renewed emphasis on regional aviation as a cornerstone of national cohesion. By providing reliable air links between remote settlements and major urban centers, the aircraft supports economic development, improves access to healthcare, 
and enhances mobility across vast and sparsely populated areas. The Sukhoi Superjet 100 remains one of the most recognizable Russian civil aircraft developed in the post-Soviet era. However, its long-standing reliance on foreign-built engines created persistent vulnerabilities. The decision to replace the original SAM 146 engines with domestically produced PD-8 engines represents a major turning point, not only for the aircraft itself, but for Russia's aerospace engine industry as a whole. At present, 24 Superjet 100 aircraft equipped with PD-8 engines are under construction at the Komsomolsk on Amur Aviation Plant. In total, 42 such aircraft have already been contracted. Certification of the PD-8 engine is expected in the first quarter of 2026, enabling these aircraft to enter airline service. The transition to PD-8 engines is far more complex than a simple engine swap. It requires structural adjustments, deeper systems integration, and additional investment to address differences in engine characteristics. Despite these challenges, the program is viewed as essential for achieving long-term operational independence. Once certified, the PD-8-powered Superjet is expected to offer improved logistical reliability, reduced dependence on imported spare parts, and greater control over maintenance and life cycle costs. This aircraft is projected to become the backbone of Russia's regional aviation network in the coming decade. The MC-21 program represents Russia's most ambitious civil aviation project in the medium-range category. Designed to compete with modern narrow-body aircraft, the MC-21 incorporates advanced materials, refined aerodynamics, and a modern systems architecture. At the Irkutsk Aviation Plant, 20 MC-21 aircraft are currently at various stages of assembly. Certification testing is ongoing, and once completed, the first 18 aircraft are expected to be delivered to customers. Key structural milestones have already been achieved, including successful strength testing of cabin floor panels at the Central Aero Hydrodynamic Institute. Although the program has experienced delays related to import substitution and component localization, steady progress continues. The MC-21 is intended to serve as the long-term replacement for both older Russian aircraft and foreign-built narrow-body jets currently in operation. When certification is finalized and large-scale production begins, the MC-21 is expected to form the core of Russia's domestic and regional medium-haul fleet. It is designed to deliver modern efficiency standards supported by fully localized supply chains. Alongside the introduction of new aircraft, Russia is also pursuing a comprehensive fleet refurbishment strategy. This approach is aimed at extending the operational life of existing airframes to preserve airline capacity during the transition to new models. The program includes the refurbishment of nine 2204 and 2214 aircraft, the return of 1 and 148 to service, and the modernization of two Il 96-400T cargo aircraft. In addition, two remaining 2204 aircraft are scheduled to re-enter service in the years 2026 and 2027. These refurbished aircraft serve as an essential buffer preventing capacity shortages and allowing airlines to maintain critical routes without interruption. In many cases, the aircraft receive upgraded avionics and systems that bring them closer to contemporary operational standards. A central driver of Russia's civil aviation modernization is the urgent need to replace aircraft that are now between 40 and 50 years old. Many Soviet-era aircraft remain active on regional routes, but their continued operation is becoming increasingly costly and technically challenging with each passing year. The arrival of new aircraft, such as the Il-1, 14-300, and the PD-8-powered Superjet 100, is particularly important in addressing this issue. These aircraft offer improved fuel efficiency, modern onboard systems, and higher safety margins, making them suitable replacements for aging fleets.
Modernization is also crucial for expanding regional air services, especially in areas where aviation is not a luxury but a necessity. Greater efficiency and reliability allow airlines to operate routes that were previously impractical, strengthening connectivity across the country. Taken together, the developments expected in the year 2026 mark the beginning of a new era for Russian civil aviation. For the first time in many decades, multiple domestically produced aircraft models are set to enter service or achieve full certification within a single year. The modernized 2214, the IL-114-300 regional turboprop, the PD-8-powered Superjet 100, and the advancing M21 program together represent a comprehensive, multi-segment approach to fleet renewal. These efforts are reinforced by practical measures to restore existing aircraft and ensure uninterrupted operations. While challenges remain, the overall direction is clear. Russia is moving toward an aviation ecosystem based on domestic design, manufacturing, and maintenance. If current timelines are upheld, the year 2026 will be remembered as the moment when this transition moved from planning into execution, reshaping the nation's civil aviation sector for decades to come. If you liked the video, please subscribe, share, and like. Also, please take the memberships to encourage us.